Hello, this is Mike Lively, and today we're going to show you how to install that new SDK in Flash Builder. And what I'm doing here will also work for Eclipse. And uh, you want to find out where to get the new SDK, so the site you want to go to is opensource.adobe.com forward slash wiki forward slash display forward slash flex SDK forward slash downloads plus flex 4. And once you go there, let's go there real quick. What you want to do is decide on what SDK you want. Now, if you just want a stable build or a milestone build you go here, stable build you go here, but if you look for something a little bit more racy like change last night, uh, then you'll go here. Now the one thing about nightly builds is sometimes they uh, have something to try to fix and they make the change and then they go hey you know I broke something else or that didn't quite fix the change I wanted to make and so that could change the next day. So in that sense it's not stable but uh, that's just the way the business goes. I have a tendency to like to download these nightly builds and play around with them. So we're actually going to work with this nightly build right here, 13963 as of uh, February 4th. Okay. So what you want to do is go ahead and click on that and download that. And once you download it, unzip it. And then you want to put it into the right folder in Adobe Flex. Now you can actually go to any folder, put it anywhere, and then link to it. But I like to keep my bookkeeping straight. So I'll go right to the Adobe Flex uh, Flash Builder and I'll actually put in uh, it in the SDK folder. So let's do that right now. So let's assume that we've actually unzipped it. And you want to copy it. And then you go to Explore. And then you look for uh, your C folder. And in your C folder, there's your program files. And you go to uh, Adobe and you go to Flash Builder down here. And click on Adobe Flash Builder. And in Flash Builder, there's a folder called SDK. And you just click on that, and that's where you want to put your build. So let's click on that. And you can see I have a few builds here right now. And there's the build I have right there 1396. So I unzipped it and I pasted it it and it has all the code in there. It says open source. You can go in there and play around and look at the code if you want. But that's not enough. We want to actually now go to Flex or Flash Builder, build a project, and then point to that uh, particular SDK. So let's do that right now. We're going to go to Flash Builder. I already have a project that I've created. I call it a little uh, uh, flipping uh, rotating button. So let's run it and show you what it does. And you flip around and it plays a video. And you flip back and it goes back. And you can actually download this if you want it. It's on my Google code at um, lively3d.googlecode.com forward slash files forward slash video 3d button dot zip. So go ahead and get that if you want to play around with it. If not, uh, you know, use your own code. And we'll go back here. And so I've got this application, so now I want to do is point to the SDK. So let's go ahead and do that. And let's take a look at the uh, basically the menu item for what we're going to do. So here's what we need to do. We want to go to Windows, Preferences, Flash Builder, Installed, Flex SDKs, Add and Navigate to the Desired SDK, and then click OK. So let's do that right now. So we're on a project. I just click on it to activate that project. I'm going to go to Window preferences and here is my installed flex SDK and I can navigate to the SDK that I want to install so I hit browse and so I put that uh, SDK in my uh, flash builder so let's go to that we'll go to the computer here C drive program files go to Adobe go to flash builder there you go beta 2 and in my SDKs files I have those unzipped SDKs there they are and I click on the last one and hit OK and I've already done that, so I don't need to add that, but just hit OK again. And you're happy with that, and then you want to OK again. But let me tell you what not to do. Do not come along here and check one of these boxes. Keep it on the SDK that you feel comfortable with. If you're testing a new SDK, then you're going to change it in the Flex compiler, but not here. Because if you check on one of these boxes and apply OK, then what's going to happen is going to change all your files to that particular SDK and you don't want to do that especially if you're just testing a nightly build. So keep it clicked on the one that you want and I have it on basically the one that uh, the default SDK and hit OK and when you do that that should bring you back and nothing's changed yet. What I want to do now is make sure that project's activated and change the compiler for that particular project. So I'm going to go to project, properties, and now I can choose my compiler. So let's take a look at the menu list on the next item. So the next item is to change that particular project SDK. And so what we did is we went to Project, Properties, Flex Compiler, and click on the specific SDK that you want. So let's do that right now. Once again, just going through the steps again, and you'll be doing this a lot, Project, Properties, Compiler, 
And right here you can choose the compiler that you want. Isn't that cool? Just choose a specific uh, compiler. We're going to use 13963 and that does run on the Flash Player 1032. And once you see that, you just hit apply, and uh, it's going to say, hey, what we're going to do now is we're going to come along here and we're going to change the wrapper. That's good. You want to do that. But you can go back. I mean, if you decide to change back to the previous SDK, you can do that no problem. Hit OK. Uh, and just hit OK. And it's updating everything. And we're going to hit OK. And at this point, you can see right here is the new SDK. And if you open up that folder, it's got all this new stuff in there. Woohoo! Isn't that great? Now this is the way you want to do this. Don't go along and try to find some blog and do it the way the blog tells you because this comes directly from what Adobe is telling us how to install this. Okay, I've seen some really uh, extravagant fixes because you're going to see we're going to run this and it's not going to work and then I'm going to show you how to fix it. Just one easy step. So let's run it. And I'm trying to run it. Got my fingers crossed, hoping it'll run. And I got an error. Look at that error. Horrible, 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 right? And you might think, I gotta, how do I fix that? It says the class Spark Skins, Spark Skin could not be found. And like I said, there's a lot of elaborate fixes out there on the web, but don't follow those. Do what I tell you here because it's really easy. Because if you go to Adobe's site, they tell you exactly what to do. So let's go back to the menu items we have here. And this long paragraph about if you are using an SDK after this SDK, you've got to do this. And what do you need to do? Basically, all you have to do is you have to go back to Properties Framework and change to merge into code. So the steps we're going to follow to fix this problem is go to Projects, Property, Framework, Linkage, Merge into Code. Let's do that right now. Okay, so go to click on the project to activate it. Go to Project, Properties, okay, Framework, Linkage. Well, let's first go to Flex Build Path, and there's my Framework Linkage right there. And from there, you want to choose Merge. Okay, so let's go to Merge, and that's all there is to this fix. You're done. It'll work. Isn't that fantastic? And now you're ready to start using your new SDKs. Hit OK. It's changing and updating some of the compile settings for you. And now try running your project. And when you do, everything works and that's fantastic. Now lot, watch what's happening. This flipping is looking a little bit better so there's been some fixes here already and we're going to see that my rotation is not sticking as much as it once did. So some good things are happening if you keep up with some of the fixes it will help you with some of your coding. Uh, otherwise I stay with the old thing but uh, working with these newer SDKs is important because you're going to come along here and you may switch to the new flex uh, as it comes out and go be surprised and some of your code may not work because there's lots of changes that are in progress. Just one more quick thing here. Uh, I actually found out there were two fixes I had to make right away is that it doesn't like the preloader base color in the applications tag anymore. You get an error on that. And also you no longer have in this particular version video element is called video display. So small things like this changing can really glitch you up. So go ahead and stay with what you're working with. But make sure you keep track of the new changes that are coming out with the uh, new Flex XDK. So this is Michael. I hope this was helpful uh, and uh, good luck with your uh, Flash Builder.